I'm beside one of our wonderful natives here in Florida. This is a, a very ancient native. It's a, a Kunti called Zamia, in, Zamia integrifolia. And it's the only cycad native to the continental United States. And um, it's found throughout the, the eastern part of Florida and it might just barely get over into, into Georgia um, um, along the coast. And uh, it's a member of a very ancient group of plants, the cycads that um, go back to way before the dinosaurs and they reproduce with cones. Uh, they don't have flowers or fruits. They have cones and seeds. This is a female. It has a seed cone here and uh, you need another individual with a pollen cone to produce, uh, produce viable seeds. And uh, despite being so ancient though, they have some interesting relationships with other animals and uh, with insects, that weevils that actually, actually are attracted to the male cones. They, have a, they emit a special scent that attracts them and then, and then they pick up the pollen and bring them to the female cones. Um, and this was actually only discovered a few decades ago and it was discovered here in South Florida, interestingly enough, um, because it was assumed that they were so ancient that they were probably wind pollinated like conifers, but it turns out, nope, they have this interesting relationship with, uh, with insects, just like the uh, flowering plants. Another interesting relationship they have is with cyanobacteria in their roots. Um, these are bacteria that are able to use uh, the, the energy from sunlight to fix nitrogen, to take nitrogen out of the air. The air was 70% that we breathe is 70% nitrogen gas, but plants can't utilize that. And they need the help of bacteria to make it into usable form. And so that what the cycad does is it gives these bacteria a home in its roots, called specialized roots, called coralloid roots. And uh, then the, the cycad, and they, f they feed these uh, cyanobacteria sugars um, from photosynthesis. And then the cyanobacteria use that energy to take nitrogen out of the air and give the cycads nitrogen fertilizer. So they're, uh, they have these amazing partnerships and, uh, and they're uh, the, only one, the only cycads that we have in this part of the world and uh, they are most, their most close, close relatives are in the Caribbean.